hey guys welcome to civil engineer sadda so today i am here to present a uh, analysis of plate with a circular hole okay so let's begin so let's enter let's take structural steel as an element okay so actually by default it will be already present here so i'm just confirming that so structural steel is already present so just go to the project here then go for geometry so it will take time to load so i have already opened the geometry here in space claim so this is our space claim so now i'm going to create the geometry so let's take pan view okay so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm just going to consider a plate okay fine let me do it with uh, other uh, axis so let it let me do it in xy so many people will find it difficult to locate xy here it's so simple x in horizontal and y in vertical so just go here xy is ready but you are not getting a sketch plane here what you need to do is select new sketch plane so take that click at the center done so this is done guys this is done so just select a let me select the rectangle here okay so let me select a rectangle guys and select define rectangle from center just select define rectangle from center which means that your rectangle will originate from the center okay so just see it will start originating from the center so that will be better because it will be exactly at the origin the center will be at the origin okay fine so now what i'm going to do is uh, take 100 mm i means 10 cm and here also 10 so 100 mm here okay i'm just taking a square but let me change this okay so let me take this as uh, 200 if possible let me take this as 200 so that it will become a rectangle plate okay it will be a rectangular plate fine now what i'm going to do just uh, come back to the 3d model here okay just come back to the 3d model now okay just uh, we'll just go back here once again since because we want the origin oh. let's go let's do the rectangle again because uh, what happened is that this one changed okay the dimensions are changing so again define rectangle from center from center just go and here you type as 200 mm but here you type as 100 mm okay 20 10 into 20 okay so fine this is fine now okay just of this hit escape now select make it as a plane here so this surf surface we have to create a solid so just make an uh, oblique view here and say pull and hit pull command so you need to pull it in positive y direction so how much thickness i am taking is i am taking a thickness of only 10 mm 10 mm thickness so 10 mm means hardly one centimeter thickness okay so this is solid now so this is a plate let me write rename this as plate so just hit rename here plate okay plate fine guys hit escape here now again tap here take the plan view uh, so this is a plan view already now now we have to create a circle here circular hole so for that select the circle here and uh, we already we also advantage of getting uh, already the center is present here so let me zoom in here a little bit okay so let me zoom in here so i am taking it from the center itself so let us consider our center our circle huh, uh, should have 50 mm of uh, radius here just select here 50 okay so fine so the diameter everything is done so this is 25 so 50 mm okay so now it, it's fine here now again just come back to the plane view and now what you need to do is just you need to deduct the part here or you need to create a hole here so for that select this part ask it to pull so just pull it down okay fine so it has done the hole with circular plate with a hole has been created okay it has been created now circular plate with a hole has been 
created actually it is in this way means in this way you can see that x y okay so now what we are to going to do is we are just going to see see here also you can change the material in space claim also it is possible to change the material see material unknown material so if you go there uh, then you will get a local materials and library in library if you have saved a structural steel then you get there so i am making here it as structural steel i am just saying it as okay fine all the properties that i have already put them okay so it will take the properties automatically so let's go move to the uh, analysis in static structural analysis okay so let me open the model here so okay so it's starting here mechanical starting so it will take some time i will just resume the video after it starts okay so guys the mechanical apdl has been loaded here so what we have is xy view so just go right click anywhere view front okay this is a front view guys so i think everything is fine let's check the geometry with the material there so just see this already structural steel has been assigned here you should make sure that it is a structural steel okay fine so now what we are going to do is uh, we'll just see here guys mesh i'm just selecting the mesh here so default let me select as uh, 10 mm here so it will be fine 10 also is uh, coarse here little bit but still we'll check it out generate mesh okay i'm generating the mesh here so it will take some time okay see just see the material it is uh, having a very coarse mesh actually so what i'm going to do i will just update the element size here i'll make it as 5 mm so to will get the accurate results if you do re do reduce the size of the element okay fine this is uh, just fine okay for uh, analysis it's just fine so let's calculate or let's perform the analysis now so initially again just go here okay it's okay now we'll not change the view at the starting so just go insert the boundary conditions here insert fix support so you just select the edge here just select the edge here uh, and just select this part here so we'll make this face or else we will select this face as fixed edge this is our fixed edge okay fine now what we are going to do again we will go into insert the displacement okay this is fixed edge now okay now we will again make this edge as a fixed edge this is a fixed edge now here this part also we'll make it as a fixed edge we'll just see whatever results will come so how we can analyze them so now again both edges uh, this planes and both edge planes have been fixed here so what we are going to do is we are just going to apply the load now so load is in the form of force okay in the form of force here so let me apply the force to this entire face okay so this is a force geometry fine so we want the direction it should not be in the vector make it components because we'll get individual component there uh, now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to add force in so this is actually in y this is actually in uh, z so i have to add the force in negative z okay i have to add the force in negative z here so just make this as minus uh, we will add first 100 kilo newton of load so 100 1 2 3 so this is 100 kilo newton of load that has been already added now so let's check with the results what we get so just go to the solution and say it as solve okay so it will take some time okay just me uh, let me continue the video when it when it gets analyzed okay fine guys the analysis has been completed just we can see the analysis is done so just go here and ins insert total deformation 
okay fine and just go for one more parameter for uh, now uh, just go for the stress okay just go for one my stress since it is a ductile ma ma material the one my uh, stress or equivalent stress will be the very good uh, property or very good to decide the failure okay so just we will do those two first okay then we will see others evaluate all results so this will not take much time okay fine just see guys just see guys wow so this uh, i was exp you should expect this because since there is a fixed let me make this as a view with front view just okay so it's now taking front view so what we have to do for this view just go here click at the edge here just once again go to the edge okay so just let me have this view for you you can just see this huh just almost you can see this yes fine now you can just see in the fixed edge portion here we have since we have fixed the edges here edge face we have fixed we don't expect any deformation at that portion whereas at the center since there is a circular punch or circular hole here the stresses the stress accumulation is maximum in that region okay so let's animate and see the video so let me do it for 40 frames and uh, with three second duration so guys let me check here just see this okay so this is absolutely uh, good actually okay so what uh, maximum is 1.3879 mm okay maximum is 1.3879 mm of deformation hardly one hardly 1 1.5 mm you can say okay with that next one equivalent stress just see this guys equivalent stress so the stress is maximum at the supports here the supports are having taking care of maximum stress they are stressed maximum okay let me animate this then we will see the distribution of stress okay so since the edges are fixed they will definitely contain three moments that is one horizontal vertical and one moment so the moment carrying capacity is more here means it is stressed to the maximum at this center here so again here also in this portion at circular middle portion the material is getting stressed here also so it is just reaching the stress point if you i think if you increase the load then it will definitely uh, exceed the maximum okay just see here so if you want to locate the maximum and minimum stresses or deformation you just go here in display or just go to the uh, result here and just hit as probe okay probe maximum minimum so when you hit probe now you can just see the equivalent stress values at each node here just at each element size you can just see the see, you can just see it, it is 821 841 88 8. so almost 800 all 800 values are in this uh, red region okay so when you come to this uh, blue region you can just see your stresses are getting around uh, 75 80 okay in this region but when you just come closer and closer to the uh, hole here means at the edge of the hole still you have 50 so your value is in the range of 2.62 almost you can say it as 100 so all the values that fall under this region will come as a blue color strain okay so blue color coating okay so now again here also 830 everywhere so this is a maximum you can see your maximum minimum exactly values in this table here maximum is 867.27 megapascal and minimum is 2.6269 megapascal which occurs maximum occurs on again everything is occurring on the plates if you're having uh, more number of elements then it would be helpful to get the information of where it occurs otherwise this is a simple one uh, plate okay not much uh, complex okay now what we are going to do we are just going to try for some other elements here so maximum what we will do strain equivalent my strain we'll see and uh, what all things we have still uh, normal also we will see okay we will see the normal mm, normal stress also we will see 
and uh, we also want to see the bending stress also oh, so whether we are having that yes we have also the bending stress so geometry so we have to select this entire geometry or at, at least this uh, plane here okay so we got the face here so we should select that so st still it is not taking here i think we have to select the entire geometry only uh, okay so geometry cancel okay just we will see that afterwards so we will, for this part we'll just delete that okay normal stress equivalent strain we have just uh, and what we are going to do is uh, we will just see this also uh, probe uh, force reactions okay so we will see the force reaction also whatever reaction is there at fixed tense fixed support both fixed support here fixed support reaction okay we will get the reaction there and uh, one more thing what i would like to just see is that so bolt tool so contact okay fine everything is fine here yes, stress tool so we'll see the maximum equivalent stress okay we'll just see that fatigue also we can just see okay all those things are there so main thing that we could see is the deformation and other things okay so just we will go here and we'll see you will let all results so so just see the force reaction here so the force reaction you can just see here in z axis the maximum force will happen in z axis since because it is a on z axis plane so phi z it is 50 kilonewton so here also 50 kilo here 50 kilonewton and here 50 kilo means totally 100 kilonewton load was assigned so here it will take 50 and here also 50 distributed equally and normal stress you can just see this normal stress so direct application of load you can just see this here normal stress okay so in this way you can um, analyze the th this thing so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to show you another uh, important information in this video so same static structure you go here and you just tell it as uh, you can just say it as uh, uh, duplicate you can just say duplicate here and means your entire this component will get duplicated the only thing you can do here is uh, you can delete the fixed support here just delete the fixed support here yes and here also you just delete the fixed support so what we'll do is uh, actually let's do oh you will not get the control z option here let me do a fixed support at one edge okay let me do our fixed support at one edge here same thing here let me take a sip here and uh, here what i'm going to do is i'll add a displacement i will just give a displacement here okay we'll see with the displacement so this part okay it is uh, having a displacement let's say displacement so it is allowed only to move in x direction in y and uh, z it is restricted so it is restricted in y and z so y make it as constant and z also make it as constant okay just this is a this is this will give you an idea okay so this will be a very good uh, thing to analyze okay fine so now huh now solution all the part parameters are there so just uh, delete that force reaction if it is not required for time being and now just say as solve now just give a solve let the force be same thing let's not change the force same 100 kilo newton so it's taking 78 percent yes it is done so just see the deformation okay guys just see the deformation so just see so it is moving in this direction since it is a fixed support here here displacement is allowed only in x direction i have allowed the displacement only in x direction but still also the maximum force that has been generated here total deformation is 19 20 mm so 20 mm deformation hardly 2 centimeter deformation 
बिकॉज वी आर नॉट गिविंग अ फिक्स ओके जस्ट आई एम जस्ट शोइंग यू डिफरेंस ऑफ डिसप्लेसमेंट एंड अदर थिंग्स इट्स नॉट इन टू अ रियल टाइम प्रॉब्लम एक्चुअली सो जस्ट सी दिस जस्ट सी दी इक्वेल एंड स्ट्रेस द मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस इज ऑकर साइड दिस रीजन सो दैट इज ऑलरेडी देर हियर सिंपली बट so one thing guys you can clearly observe that if by making this end as uh, i am just allowing that end to be free in x direction i am going to reduce the stress accumulation at this point actually below what we happened so actually in equivalent stress when we are having both fixed support at this end and this end we had the maximum reactions or maximum moment at this point but when i took as a displacement this end i made displacement then if i check the equivalent stress and run the animation i am going to see that my maximum stress concentration will be at the fixed support here this my this end other end where i have provided displacement will be somewhat experiencing less stress okay that i wanted to show and uh, elastic strain strain will be maximum here only and normal stress also so maximum and minimum i think why it's it's coming here only okay normal strain means exactly where you apply the load no at that the area below that load only is the normal stress application so that area so the maximum stress will be higher at the top since it is uh, subjected to direct application and as and when it goes below it will reduce so this was the idea okay so fine so i think you understood how to analyze a plate with this structural steel plate for static structural loading okay fine so anything so what i could show here is i think uh, i've showed it enough here so i hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel please hit please share this video to your friends law knowledge gains by sharing with others okay uh, so thank you have a good day